I've always been an average Mormon girl with an average Mormon dream to find a Mormon boy who could take me to the temple and to be married for time and all eternity. I've always done everything right in my life. So how did things go so wrong? Oh shoot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Jason. Oh, Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I haven't seen you around before. Are you visiting? No, I just moved here recently. Well, welcome. Oh, shoot. I gotta go. I gotta teach Sunday school. Oh, wait. Uh, hey, I didn't get your name. It's Brecklin with two Y's. Brecklin. So where are you from? Utah. It's my home sweet home. Where are you from? San Diego. Oh, that explains a lot. What does that mean? Well, you're just not like the guys around here. So you're pretty crazy about this guy. Yeah, we've been dating a whole month. I mean, I think he's the one. But I do have one concern. I don't know if I should be telling you this, but he skipped church on Sunday. What do you mean he skipped church? I mean, he said he was sick, but then I saw him later that day and he was fine. Please don't tell me mom. That boy is never allowed in my house again. some really bad things, but he keeps promising he'll change. What is this? What is this? Maybe he's just not a celestial kingdom kind of guy. I think you're right, but I can't give up hope. I love you. Do you love me? Yes then something's got to change. I just don't get it. Is a cup of coffee really enough to keep me out of the house of God? Yes, actually. God's just very... petty. Who are you? I can't keep pretending to be something that I'm not. Brecklin Zion Jensen! Why in the H-E-C-K do you always have to go after the bad guys? What would your big brother say? But mom, he can change. I know he can. The only one changing here is you. It's like you're acting like coffee's not even a big deal. Oh, what's happening to me? I understand. I used to have a coffee addiction myself. But what you need to understand is that there are options for vices within the Mormon church. You can have truckloads of McDonald's. You can have buckets of Mountain Dew. Gallons of Monster. It's all up to you, really. Is this what you want? Is this what you want? It's not about who you are on the inside. It's about the things that you do on the outside. The things that people can see that matter to God. I mean, is he even attending church regularly? It's not like that. When's the last time he even went? You don't understand. What a beef day. You're going to have to choose what matters most. Your family or that sinner. 
Listen, I know that not all of God's rules make sense, but sometimes God just doesn't make sense. He's God. He's allowed to do weird shit like that. I thought I understood what love was, but it was all a lie. I don't care if I go to the Telestial Kingdom forever. I love you. You really mean that? Yes. Brecklin, listen to yourself. Is this guy what you really want? I mean, is he even Mormon? Yes, he's Mormon. He's just less active. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you don't already know Crystal and Sean, these are great friends of ours who have made a huge impact in the ex mormon community in my life and so many others because they started the Mormon Enlightenment Facebook group and also there's a YouTube page now and uh, Instagram, right? And that group is by far my favorite online ex-Mormon community. And I have found so much help from that group. Thanks to you guys. Mm -hmm. And thank you Crystal for personally inviting me to that group. I also wanted to give a shout out to Crystal's amazing, amazing podcast, Wanna Be Balanced Mom. And I have to say, there have been episodes that I have listened, no joke, that have made me tear up. Mm -hmm. Because you're just so real, you know what I mean? Like, and I just, I love your podcast. So I wanna, I wanna shout out to that podcast. We're gonna have links in the description where you can find all their amazing stuff. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this with us today. I, I just, it was just amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. So we had fun. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> you guys, I freaking love these people. Do you know what we put them through today to make this video? <laughs> it was fun. Oh my gosh. The amount of Mountain Dew <laughs> that was just <laughs> probably still in his beard. Thank you guys so much for making this video with us today. We love these guys. <laughs> We're crazy about these guys and all their alter egos. These guys rock. We love them. <laughs> We actually found you first. We yeah. found you before yeah. you, you knew about us. I just remember we... pulling out my phone. Sean, look at this video. This is hilarious. <laughs> you love your videos. Loves, <laughs> loves watching your stuff. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, thanks for everything you're doing. And we just, thanks for doing this with us. This is so fun. Yay! 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 I'm gonna get this. High fives. 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 It is not my fault, I did what I could